So how do I implement a stack using Kotlin? Well, you create an interface and you call it stack. It's going to support a generic type of any, but that type is not optional. There is no question mark next to the word any. It's going to support three operations, push, pop, and peak. It also has two properties, count and is empty. Is empty just checks whether count is zero, so you can implement it here. Next, you're going to create a new class and call it stack implementation or impl. It also supports the generic type any and it implements the stack interface. You initialize the array list of type t to store the elements of the stack and implement the getter for count to be the size of that array list. Now for the operations, peak takes no arguments, and might or might not return an element. So we can use Kotlin's own last or null function to do that. It either gets the last element from the array list or it returns null. Now for pop, same thing, except here we're removing the item from the end of the array list or you return null if there's no item. So we can again use Kotlin's own remove last or null function. For push, we just add the element into the array list. And that's it. Now for the famous question that deals with the stacks, uh, for checking whether parentheses are valid, you can implement this using a stack, of course. You initialize the stack, and for every character in the string of parentheses, if it's an opening parenthesis, you push it onto the stack. If it's a closing one, you first check whether the stack is empty, because if you just got a closing parenthesis and there's no more parens in the stack, then one is missing, so they're not valid. It's always a pair of opening and closing parentheses that make a valid set of parentheses valid. If it's not empty, pop that character and repeat. Finally, you return whether the stack ended up being empty or not. Now let's have a runner class to test this function. This is the string of parentheses which are right now unbalanced. This should return false. Now if we balance them, it returns true. Trying one last time. Returns false. Okay, great. That's it. 